So what is innovation? One of the key mistakes that people make is confusing innovation with invention. Innovation can mean invention. You can get radical innovations, like for example, the first time anyone ever came up with the idea or ability to turn red spectrum sunlight into electricity. But that's a very rare type of innovation. A much more common type of innovation is incremental innovation. So small changes in the way, for example, technologies work or efficiencies of producing technology. That's by far the most common type of innovation that you might see. A great example of that is the Korean steel industry. The industry started off adopting technologies from elsewhere in the world. Slowly through efficiency, incremental efficiency gains, they moved to the technological cutting edge. So that kind of incremental change, that incremental innovation is far more common and important when you think about innovation. But also in the context, particularly of the global south, is another type of innovation which is adaptive innovation. This is where you adapt existing technologies to new contexts. So some great examples of that would be, for example, the adaptation of water efficient farming techniques um, in Sudan to suit the environmental conditions out there. Another great example of adaptive innovation um, is mobile phones. So the Chinese mobile phone industry started to respond to the specific context in which mobile phones were being used in um, Sub-Saharan Africa. So in East Africa they started from, uh, marketing phones that had dual SIM card facilities. So you could use one network at a certain, to call a certain region, another network that was cheapest to call another region. They also introduced single button press facilities for using the um, M-Pesa mobile money um, technology. So they're all great examples of adaptive innovation, which is often really relevant when you're thinking about technological change, particularly technological change in clean directions, introducing new clean technologies into new contexts. Um, the final thing to, to bear in mind about innovation is it's not just about inventing bits of hardware. You can innovate in terms of producing hardware, you can also innovate in production systems, you can innovate in terms of the way you market systems, and you can innovate in the way in which you finance systems. A great example of that being the explosion of pay-as-you-go mobile-enabled techniques for buying energy in developing